ni teknamsangi ya jishinde.com Welcome to day 3 of coding in AL or 30 days of AL and today we are going to look at the set filter procedure. So the procedure assigns a filter to a field that you want to specify. So you use the syntax of the record dot set filter. You're just setting a filter and then you put in the field and then the string that is the string that is picking the string picks the exact filter so for instance here we can say customer to set filter the name and then we say msangi so this is a filter it's working you see there's no syntax error you can specify the string this is really hard coded but again remember you can even do this a number you can even do this so this is and it will still compile so this is not the best way of having uh, set, setting this filter but it's possible to have that but there's another option here that has an option of adding values so when you when you're adding values it's like you're saying you can use replacement values fields the, which is the best case for using a filter you use the replacement fields to separate the different filters that are supposed to be there so ideally instead of doing what, what I just did, you'll have something like customer.setfilter and then um, the number, the name, then we will say probably here the replacement value and then we specify that particular name. Let me say Msangi. So this replacement character will replace this this value will be filled in here but this can give you an option to even pass it as a parameter okay um if you have done the or gets and and gets and greater than signs the filter you basically use that for this greater than sign less than sign for uh, things to do with numbers and uh, aesthetic for values that contain something and or equal to most of these uh, symbols are used because even in SQL you always have this fil these um, symbols for filters and then range can be described as dot dot or less than and all that this one is for to just specify that everything that will be filtered will be case insensitive no case checking so there's a code I've created that I'll be passing the filters from the client side so when I set the filter to the of the customer number, I pass these two filters with an or symbol from the client side, and then I'll have these two filters. We could even make it more interesting and have this uh, dynamic, but for now, let's just work with that. And then once if we get anything, we say we message out that uh, we have account if it's not empty we message out nothing so this is our our code with the different filters so let's make a test so if you want to use the best way of using a filter is to make sure that it works on the client side once you have done that especially for a complex filter you can easily be able to replicate it on the code when you are writing this filter, the way we have done it here, let me try and go to the client side and show you what we meant by exactly what you've just done. So I'll run my application. What have we done on the client side when we are doing or when you're creating the filter? So I'll open the customers. Okay, so what you have done is like saying uh, the number, you have said it start with, uh, let's say two star, or three star so when you enter we have this all these customers that are starting with that particular number or let's say only the one that starts with a zero star zero yeah zero star i've not entered so we have six customers who start with a zero so okay this filter the filter pin gives you an ability to filter with the particular field but this search on the top gives you an ability to filter with any appearing field so if i do uh, let's say l 
and uh, let me leave it at L. You see, there, there, there is no customer name with L, but there are all there are so many Ls here in this field, like including yellow, uh, blue. Let me say uh, R M and see. So you have all these that contain R M at some somewhere in the application. But for our filter, what we are doing is like we are saying we have filtered and then we added a number and then we do zero star then or maybe zero star this is the same filter but it should give us the same result of six characters so i want to test this filter in 30 days of l so i'll just do a search 30 days of l and uh, i'll create a new id test filter to okay 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 we have confirmed so the filter here that i want to use let me use the one that i've just displayed anything that starts with a zero and i filter so i have six records at, as we have just seen anything that starts with a zero and a three what does it give us it gives us a 25 so it's just a matter of having the syntax right and verifying that you can be able to do the filter on the application side and replicate the same filter on the your AL code because you'll get the accurate filters that you need to use and to get the right result set for your customers. That's it for this video. I will see you in day four of coding in AL.